Hi, this is Sam Botstein from MachineSkills.com. Today I would like to talk about how to use doubling in order to create longer phrases and more complex grooves. There's a nice shortcut for this on the controller. Essentially, if you just hold down Pattern, the third button near the top of the controller will say Double under it on the screens. If you hit it, what it will do is it'll take this one bar loop we have and double it, meaning that we'll have a two bar loop, both bars being the same. So before we hear this, let's just hear this one bar loop really quick. It's just a break that I've sliced up and I've just sped up the tempo a couple of beats per minute. So if I hit pattern and then the third button to double it, we'll get this. So now instead of a one bar loop, we have a two bar loop, but both bars sound the same. So wait a minute, it sounds the same. So what's the point? Now what we can do is we can take these two identical bars and make them slightly different. Here I'm just gonna add another little kick here. So essentially, by pressing one button and then keying in just one note, we've turned one unique bar of music into two unique bars of music. So the key to making a longer phrase using doubling that isn't just the same thing over and over again is taking advantage of this and really making each bar unique, or at least every few bars unique. So you can hear that this technique sounds very consistent, but it does sound a little monotonous. So if we were to do this again, notice that two things happen. Now that we've doubled it, we have a four bar loop, and the first two bars are identical to the second two bars. So an important thing to note here is that we have only two unique bars of music. So if I go and I add another little kick at the end of here, we'll have a four bar loop So here we have a four bar loop with three unique bars of music. The first bar is the same as the third bar, but the second and the fourth bars are both distinct. In my opinion, this sounds fine. Um, this is a really easy way to take a one bar loop and quickly add a fill. So here if we were to just take this away, what we would have is three identical bars of music with a little fill every four bars. So this is really efficient. You get a lot of output for relatively little input and you know a really good result for relatively little effort. The downside is that this sounds really monotonous. So a good way to go is to bring everything back to one bar, and every time something is doubled, something changes. What this will do is it'll build up in density really well and give a big crescendo to the end, and the end will have a really satisfying, I think, uh, fill kind of sound to it. So let's go back to what we had before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double this again. And here, I'm going to build up the eighth bar a little bit. So in my opinion, this has really started to build up to a really good, you know, baseline beat behind, you know, let's say a 16-bar verse. 
with other things layered in here, you know, maybe a sample, maybe a synth line, something like that, uh, it's barely noticeable that this technique has been used. Um, it doesn't sound lazy to me necessarily. However, um, a danger quickly arises. Every time you double, the entire length will be doubled as well. So um, when you're moving from one bar to two bars, that's, you know, only a one bar increase, but you know when you're going from four to eight or eight to sixteen and eight, it's you know sixteen to thirty two and so on, this can really um, lead to some not so good monotonous sounding things. So you can see really quickly that um, I pressed a couple buttons and I got the thirty two bars, but um, many 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 of these bars are exactly the same. They're this untouched original pattern we had. Um, so you know getting up into bar fifteen and um, you know every three bars, or in this case, I think every other bar is going to be like this. Um, so that's something to watch out for. The key to using doubling in a way that's musically, I think, is to keep track of the number of bars that is unique. In this case, we have one, two, three, four unique bars. There's not a whole lot if you're having an actual 32 bar pattern. So this method is very effective and sounds very consistent, but it can become monotonous. Let me know in the comments if you use this technique and any tips you might have as to how to take it to the next level and use it to create more interesting grooves.